Hi everyone, my name is Rachel from the Marks Group Live and I am here today to teach you about activities, um, the task activities in Zoho CRM. Um, after this video is over, you can feel free to rate us. Um, this will help other Zoho users find our program and it will also help us increase and improve our video library. If you have any questions about this topic or any other topic, you can feel free to send us an email at support at marksgrouplive.com. All right, let's get over to talking about what we're going to learn today. Um, so today, what you're going to learn is what a task is um, and how Zoho CRM defines it. Um, how can you create a new task? Um, and then what do you do when you have completed a task um, in the CRM? So I do just want to note that um, we have a few other videos about activities. Our first video goes over the activities module talks about best practices for activities and why you might want to use them. Um, our other activities video goes over events and calls, so please feel free to check them out, as well as our other archived videos about any topic um, for Zoho and Zoho One. All right, let's get to it. Um, so here I am at my Zoho main page. Um, we use Zoho One. You might be using a version of Zoho like Zoho Plus. So some things might look a little different to you, um, but for all intents and purposes, for what we're doing today, um, everything should pretty much be exactly the same, no matter what version of Zoho that you use. Um, so as we went over in our best practice videos at Mark's Group and Mark's Group Live, we really suggest to our clients that they create new activities from the record that that activity relates to itself. Um, so I'm going to go to the contacts module today and we are going to create our tasks um, in, in the contacts module. So I'm going to go ahead and check, pick a contact. I'll check a uh, few what's in here. Um, so how you create a new uh, activity, any of activities, you want to scroll down, usually about halfway down, and you will see two options. You will see open activities and closed activities. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on a new task here. So essentially a task is something you need to do for this client. Um, and it's something that you might need to run a report, you might need to send an email, you might need to check in with another um, you know, person in your company about a specific order. Um, maybe you have quarterly um, reviews of this client's account. It's really anything that you yourself need to do to do business with this client. Um, so I am going to say that this task is um, a weekly review of client orders. Maybe, you know, every week you're sending them a specific, you know, Maybe you sell paper and you're sending them paper um, every week. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to select a due date for this task. I will say it is next Friday. You can choose the priority. Priority is going to be set on high automatically. Um, you as an organization can decide what these priorities mean to you. Um, these are out of the box. I like to keep things on high if they're not done. Um, the owner, if you are an admin, um, you will have the opportunity to search other users in your Zoho company um, and you can assign a task to them. Um, this isn't always like the best thing to do because they don't necessarily know that they've been assigned tasks. Um, I think it's best to just assign tasks for yourself. Um, but it is certainly something you can do, and you can search users here if you have many users um, in your organization. We only have two, so in our, you know, test environment. So the next options you have are reminders and repeats. I'm going to go over the reminders. This will send a little either email or a pop-up reminder in the CRM saying, hey, you have to do this. So I'm going to say on the 22nd, which is the day that this is due at 9 a.m., I want a reminder to pop up. You can choose if you want this reminder to repeat. You can repeat it daily, weekly, monthly, yearly. 
I'm going to not repeat this reminder at all. And then you can choose your alert. You can choose if it either comes in an email and that will get sent to whatever email address is um, is merged or you know set up with that particular Zoho user or it'll come in the form of a pop-up. The pop-ups, if you look down on the right hand uh, bottom corner of my Zoho CRM, you'll see I've highlighted the activities reminders. I'll go ahead and click on that. Um, they show up in little pop-ups here. You can dismiss them if they're, you know, annoying you. I'm going to keep it as a pop-up. The next is uh, you can repeat. You can, you can repeat how often this particular uh, task will repeat itself. So you can start the date. The start date will be on the 15th. This is the day we're creating the um, the task. And I'm going to say that this is going to repeat every week until the end of March. And you can choose, do you want this to repeat every day, every week, every month, or once a year? Um, I'm going to say this is weekly because this is our uh, weekly reminder to ship out their orders. I'm going to say this is going to repeat every one week. You can have it repeat every two weeks, every three weeks. Um, beyond that, then you're doing monthly every four weeks or five weeks. Um, and I'm going to say it's going to repeat every every week on Friday. Go ahead and say done. You do have some more options. Um, this contact name and account that it is related to, these will automatically fill in for you because you're creating it from the actual record itself. If you want to change it for any reason, you can, although I don't see any reason that you would do that. Um, you have the status, is it not started? Defer, are you deferring it? Is it in progress? Is it completed? Is it waiting for input? Waiting for input is something we put in ourselves that does not come out of the box, but these four options do. Send a notification email. Um, if you have decided to assign this task to someone else and not yourself, sending a notification email is always a great option because that way a notification that the task has been created will go to the person who it's assigned to. You can choose the currency if, you know, for this particular task, there's no reason to do that. Um, and then you could add a little description. This is a weekly reminder to send out this client's paper order. All right. I'm going to go ahead and say done. And I'm going to go ahead and save that right there. So then what you're going to see here is that we have a bunch of open activities. Here they are. We put them in. They're repeating every week. If you scroll up to the top here, you'll see that in these next actions, here are things that we have to do. So let's say I've gone in, I've reviewed the client's orders, it's been sent out today. Ooh, even a pop-up just popped up, there we are. It's a reminder to do that. I'm actually gonna click on the task right here in the pop-up and it's gonna take me to the page of the task. You can also get here from um, from the main page, you can click on it up at this next action. That'll take you to the task page, or you can click on the task here, and you can edit the task this way. So here I am at this task. Let's say I completed it. You can add any notes. This was done on, you know, let's say this was completed. On to 15 by Rachel. Save. You can attach if there was any letters that went out, if there was a contract that went out or an order form, you can attach it here. Any links, anything. And then you can go ahead and close the task. Mark this task as completed. You have the option to not show this again. I wouldn't do that. Um, this will give you the chance to add a follow-up task if there's something else you want to do. 
for this. Um, maybe schedule a conversation with your supervisor, schedule, you know, a phone call. You can do that there. I'm not. And then if we go ahead to this client's page, let's see. I'm going to go ahead and refresh this. We should see the changes that the task was closed in his page. So as you can see, the February 15th one is no longer here in the next action. I'm going to go ahead and scroll down. And we have today's task in the weekly clients orders. I mean, in the closed activities. So I do just want to point something else out. You certainly can delete a task once it's in the closed activity. You just hover over it and you see the trash can. You cannot delete an open activity. You would have to go ahead and close the activity and then delete it. I don't really recommend deleting closed activities um, if you've actually completed them. If it was an accident, if you made a mistake, go ahead and delete it. But I think having a list of everything that you have done um, for a client in the closed activities, I find that to be really, really helpful so people can see what you've done. You can see what you've done. So that's really it for our, you know, tasks. Um, you know, a task is anything you have to do on behalf of a client for business with that particular client um, or for any sort of account or any sort of um, campaign you're doing. You can create tasks for these modules. Um, you create a task by going to the actual record and clicking on a task there, or clicking on the create task button on the record, which is about halfway down the page. You certainly can create a task from the activities module, but again, we don't recommend it because um, there's extra information you have to fill out and, you know, things can get lost in the process. Once a task is completed, you can go ahead and click complete task and it should show up in your closed activities. All right, so that is what we have for you today. Um, if you have any questions, please feel free to send us an email at support at marksgrouplive.com. Um, you can certainly um, send us any feedback on this video or if there's a video of something else you wanna learn about for Zoho, please send us that as well. We're continuously updating our archive um, of videos and we love to hear from you about what you may want. Um, and if you have any questions about anything about Zoho, please, please, please go ahead and give us, uh, uh, send us an email and we'll get back to you. All right. Have a great day.